President Trump went to the United Kingdom this week for a working visit. The fact that the trip was considered a working visit and not a state visit is relevant. In a state visit, the president would be invited to stay at Buckingham Palace and would be treated to a state dinner and the pomp and circumstance that surrounds the royal family in such events. Instead, the president and first lady were invited to tea with Her Highness the Queen at Windsor Castle. The Queen took her place outside Windsor Castle to greet President Trump and First Lady Melania. The Queen stood beneath her canopy, overlooking the garden she waited, and she waited. Queen Elizabeth II is 92 years old, wearing a coat and gloves, standing in the summer heat, waiting for the president who was late to meet her. At one point, the Queen actually checked her watch as she waited for the President of the United States to arrive for tea. Twitter was exceptionally displeased by the disrespect. Patricia Treble tweeted writing, Queen Elizabeth II is there. But where is the guest? Yeah, still in his helicopter, leaving the 92-year-old monarch to wait and wait. The President and First Lady finally arrived at Windsor Castle, where Trump continued to disrespect the Queen. Donald Trump did not bow to the Queen, choosing to shake her hand instead. Similarly, Melania did not curtsy, she also shook the Queen's hand. The president broke with royal etiquette when accompanying the queen on a short walk inspecting the guard. President Trump can be seen walking ahead of the queen as they inspect the guard. He can then be seen looking from side to side for the queen. The queen catches up with President Trump and walks alongside him on his right-hand side. When the president realizes that the queen was not next to him, he stopped to allow her to catch up. It is considered rude and improper to turn one's back to the queen. Richard Fitzwilliams is a royal correspondent he said, it was inappropriate behavior.